We're in the Dindin National Park and we're about to do the Lamb's Head Walk. And so if you want to do this as well, this is what you can expect. Choose your weapon, Becky. Mm, okay, I think I like the look of this one. Oh, that was my one. Oh, I'm sorry. I left you the big one. We've taken the ridge track, the up and back. The reason for this is because it's been rainy lately and the other way has more rainforests. So we wanted to avoid the mud and the leeches. But we've just changed from like a eucalypt forest into more of a rainforest. And we've had some leeches and there are the false peaks. So if you have them in mind, it makes it easier. You look up at the false peak and you know that that's not the top. Keep it in your mind that there are peaks after that and it'll be easier to get to the, to the top. made it to the summit the forecast was clear days and of course it started raining and it's overcast so you do continue on through this one to the view but because it's not the most favorable conditions we're just going to head back down at the moment we've sought shelter under the solar panels had a bit of lunch and we're off
we just stopped to stretch it out. <laughs> Becky, what are your impressions so far? Well, it's definitely something I've never done before because I have a phobia of leeches and this is leech central. But I'm happy about it. The difficulty level is 6.5 out of 10 is the physical difficulty level. Sorry, we've got to pause. I had a leech on me. Oh, Jess, please stop videoing. Yeah, so I was saying that I think the difficulty level is a 6.5 out of 10, but for me, the mental difficulty is an 8 out of 10 because I feel like we're going to slide down and we're cl literally clambering over the rocks and all of that with leeches. And what about the terrain and the weather? Well, oh, the weather is, weather is sucky. That is horrible. But the terrain, like this environment here, this is really nice. When you can see the sunshine and you can see peaks of the sky, but at the peak, I was over it. I was like, this is rubbish. Why do we even waste our time? You couldn't, you couldn't see anything. It was just cloud and rain. Fulfilling? But, I think when we get to the bottom, it will be fulfilling, but it's going to have to be perfect weather for me to hike again. Okay. <laughs> I do want to mention that when you get to the actual rock of Lamb's Head, I guess, that isn't the end of the walk. You might think it's the end of the walk, but that's actually where it gets really hard because you have to go down and around the giant rock and that's where it gets slippery. That's where it gets wet and really steep. So for the more hardcore hikers, it's probably the part that they'll enjoy the most, <laughs> but it's the part that we didn't like as much <laughs> anyway. Over it. We're just coming into the car park now. I feel like the downhill is always the hardest part. Uh, today's weather wasn't great. So hopefully the next hike that we do, the weather will be more favorable and we can get a nice view. I really had visions of busting out the drone, doing some cool shots up the top, wrapping it around the, the stones, the boulders. But I think this hike is like medium, to hard for a high reward if you get a good day so i suggest going in winter when it's nice and cool and when the skies are clear okay see ya